The waves provide the soundtrack. The wind, the water, and the Wasatch Peaks complete the picture. And what a picture it is. This is the Great Salt Lake, a giant body of water, the remnant of ancient Lake Bonneville left for dead thousands of years ago. It's a perfect picture of the irony of nature, a salty, often foul-smelling place where little lives and brine shrimp and algae become decaying fodder for Great Salt Lake jokes. While at the same time, a stark beautiful place, a blend of shadows, light and dark, sunlight and warmth to ward off the frigid chill of an icy Utah winter. There is not a day that I wake up and dread going to work or coming out here. Possibly no one knows the Great Salt Lake like John Sullivan, a park ranger at Antelope Island, one of 11 islands here. He loves this place, from the frothy shoreline, to the rocky landscape, to the birds that float above it all. He loves the bison that were first introduced here more than 100 years ago. He loves the people that visit from lands near and far. Antelope Island, this park, the lake, uh, the panoramic views, the vistas, the wildlife, the solitude that it offers just being across from Salt Lake area is, makes it just a fabulous place to be. Yes, it's quite a picture nature painted here. Land and sky, ice and stone, water and salt. The Great Salt Lake, a great testament to this picture's artist. Gary Shapiro, 9 News.